In southern Siberia, really the middle of nowhere, the villagers reported seeing a blue and orange glowing thing kind of hurtling at them, right? It mm -hmm. looked like a UFO, so they ran to check it out. And what did they find? They found this. What appears to be a dead alien lying in the snow. Now, you can see it. It looks like it has horrific injuries from the crash, including the loss of a limb, its left arm there, right? You can see that. What about some terrifying discoveries under frozen Siberia? Let's find out in this video. Siberian Unicorn. The animal, known as the Siberian Unicorn, had a long horn on its nose and roamed the grasslands of Eurasia. But according to new evidence, the hefty beast may have died out because it was such a picky eater. Scientists believe that learning about the animal's extinction could help save the remaining rhinos. A new discovery about the Siberian unicorn, weighing four tons and sporting an extraordinary single horn on its head, states that they coexisted with early modern humans until at least 39,000 years ago. Elasmotherium sibaricum, the rhino, was thought to have gone extinct between 200,000 and 100,000 years ago. However, researchers discovered that the Ice Age giant survived in Eastern Europe and Central Asia until at least 39,000 years ago by radiocarbon dating of 23 specimens. They also isolated DNA from an ancient rhino for the first time, revealing that it diverged from the modern rhino group around 40 million years ago. The extinction of the Siberian unicorn marks the end of an entire rhino species. The animal's teeth were examined confirming that they grazed on tough, dry grasses. It was walking along like a prehistoric lawnmower. It was just grazing along the ground, Prof Lister explained. The rhino's specialized diet could have been its undoing. As the earth warmed and began to emerge from the ice age around 40,000 years ago, grasslands shrank, likely driving the animal extinct. Climate change, loss of vegetation, and human hunting all contributed to the extinction of hundreds of large mammal species after the last ice age, zombie virus. According to a preprint study, researchers from the French National Center for Scientific Research have revived more than a dozen prehistoric viruses previously trapped deep within the Siberian permafrost. Scientists were able to document 13 never-before-seen viruses from seven ancient permafrost samples that had been dormant frozen in ice for tens of thousands of years. According to the BBC, the same researchers discovered a 30,000-year-old virus trapped in permafrost in 2014. The discovery was groundbreaking because the virus could still infect organisms after all that time. They've now broken their record by resurrecting a virus that's been dormant for 48,500 years. According to Science Alert, the ancient virus was given the name Pandorovirus eudoma, which refers to its size and the type of permafrost soil it was discovered in. Scientists are thawing these ancient viruses to assess their public health implications. As permafrost, or permanently frozen ground, melts in the northern hemisphere, many trout chemicals and microbes are released. As a result of climate change, irreversibly thawing permafrost is releasing organic matter that has been frozen for up to a million years, the majority of which decomposes into carbon dioxide and methane, further enhancing the greenhouse effect," wrote the study's authors. This organic matter also includes revived cellular microbes, prokaryotes, unicellular eukaryotes, and viruses that have been dormant since prehistoric times. The revived viruses discovered by researchers are from the virus subtypes, including Pandorovirus, Cetrid virus, Medivirus, Pacman virus, and Pithovirus. These viruses are called giants because they are large and easy to identify using light microscopy. As a result, researchers believe that many other smaller viruses have escaped detection. Amoeba cells were also used as virus bait to determine which viruses were still active and capable of infecting an organism. According to the researchers, this limited their findings to detecting only lytic viruses, which destroy their host, as opposed to other types of viruses that can merge with a host DNA. Mystery holes in Siberia. A Russian TV crew flying over the Siberian tundra discovered a massive crater 30 meters deep and 20 meters wide, striking in its size, symmetry, and the explosive force of nature required to create it. Scientists are unsure how the massive hole, at least the ninth to be discovered in the region, 
since 2013 formed. When the first crater was discovered near an oil and gas field in northwest Siberia's Yamal Peninsula, theories included a meteorite impact, a UFO landing, and the collapse of a secret underground military storage facility. While scientists now believe the massive hole is caused by an explosive buildup of methane gas, which could be an unsettling result of the region's warming temperatures, there is still a lot the researchers don't know. Permafrost, which covers two-thirds of Russian territory, is a massive natural reservoir of methane, a potent greenhouse gas, and recent hot summers in the region, including in 2020, may have played a role in forming these craters. It is a potential threat to human activity in the Arctic. Scientists must thoroughly investigate how gases, particularly methane, accumulate in the top layers of permafrost and what conditions can cause the situation to become extreme. 2100-year-old human clayhead, an ancient sheephead was discovered inside the sealed death mask of a handsome Siberian warrior. The soldier was laid to rest in a burial mound in Russia, wearing his clay likeness 2,100 years ago, alongside the burned corpses of 200 other people. Experts had long suspected that the mask contained parts of the man's skull, but feared that opening it would destroy it. Decades later, a new scanning technique has enabled scientists to peer inside the object without damaging it. The clay head, known as Shestakovsky Burial Mound No. 6, is unique among finds at the mound because it is filled with sheep rather than human bones. Scientists are now looking for an explanation for the strange discovery in the necropolis in Russia's Kakasha region. Although the precious clay head was not opened, fluoroscopy was used to identify the ram's head within the death mask. The warrior belonged to the Tiger culture, famous for its elaborate funeral rites. The dead were mummified for years by their families, and then mass burials containing 200 bodies were held. The ram skull mask it is the only such case so far, according to senior Russian archaeologist Professor Natalia Pulasmak. An effort is now being made to peer into the minds of the ancient people in order to understand why the human skull was replaced with that of a sheep. She claimed that the mysterious prehistoric person might have been lost in alien lands, so a ram's skull was used as a symbolic replacement, or he may have been perceived as a wrongdoer and replacing his skull with that of a ram which ancient people often worshipped, may have provided him with a fresh start in the afterlife. Dr. Elda Vaditskaya, another expert, said these ancient people first made a temporary burial to partially mummify the dead. The skull was trepanned, and the remainder of the brain was extracted. The skeleton was then transformed into a doll, wrapped in grass and sheathed in leather and birch bark, with a clay death mask covering the head, covered in gypsum and decorated with ornaments. The deceased were then returned to their families, often for years, if not decades, before being buried in mass graves, mummies from a mysterious Arctic civilization. According to a statement issued by the governor of Yamalo Nenets district, the recent discovery includes two mummies wrapped in a thick textile material, fur, and tree bark, with the adult encased in copper plates and the baby covered in copper kettle fragments. Copper is thought to have been used for its antimicrobial properties to help preserve the body. In addition, the permafrost of this notoriously cold region of the world also naturally refrigerated the remains. The larger of the two mummies measures about 170 centimeters, 5 feet 7 inches, indicating that they are fully grown adults. The smaller indicates that it is most likely a child under the age of 6 months. The team has yet to unravel the remains for fear of disturbing the body and worsening the condition of the tissue, according to anthropologist Evgenia Sviatova of the Center for the Protection and Use of Monuments of History and Culture. The mummies were discovered near a centuries-old monument in a remote corner of Siberia outside Salikard. This town crosses the polar circle and is located on the coast of the Kara Sea in the Arctic Ocean. So the average yearly temperature in this area is a chilly minus 5.72 degrees Celsius, 21.7 degrees Fahrenheit. The couple will now be examined in a lab, where they will be subjected to genetic testing, forensics, and historical research. The project's researchers hope to present their findings at a conference later this year in Salicard. The age of the remains has yet to be determined. However, the excavation site was most active during the Middle Ages 
in the 13th century. The mummies are the most recent in a long line of discoveries at the Zelenigar archaeological site since 1997. Researchers discovered 47 graves between 2013 and 2017. All of this project has yielded numerous discoveries. Little is known about the people who lived in the area centuries ago. Archaeologists previously discovered 10th century bronze bowls from Persia, approximately 5,950 kilometers, 3,700 miles, away in modern day Iran. The connection between this Siberian civilization and Persia is unknown, but hopefully, future work at the site will shed light on it. What do you think of these discoveries? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.